Hi, my name is Emily. Welcome to my garden. It's the place where dreams are cultivated. I have a great show planned for you today. Join me at La Salette Shrine in Attleboro, Massachusetts, as we attend a powwow. See you in a minute. Powwow actually means he who dreams. One person did in particular many years ago. His name was Dr. James Solomon. It was reported by an old newspaper account that James M. Solomon, known in the community as the Indian Doctor, was the son of James M., or the old Dr. Solomon, and that his grandmother had been a full-blooded Narragansett Indian woman. From her and his father, it was said the Indian Doctor had inherited the magic of herbs and medicine. Gathering roots and herbs on his property situated in Attleboro, Dr. Solomon dreamed of a great hospital or sanitarium, as it was called in his day, that would concentrate on the healing of cancer. Lack of funds forced the Attleboro Sanitarium to close in 1903. The large building changed hands several times through the course of the century. We as children called the structure the castle on the hills. The property was purchased by a major seminary in 1942. The building served as the provincial house at La Salette Shrine until 1999 when a tragic fire brought the memory of Dr. Solomon's dreams to ashes. I find it very fitting that a powwow is going underway on this historical property today. Emily's garden was never intended to be a how-to gardening show. It's really about a way of life. However, I really believe that it always goes back to the land in some way. I'm going to go join a powwow and learn a little bit about another way of life. I pulled a couple of the dancers out of line and I wanted to introduce you to them. I do have the hawk. Harry the Hawk Edmonds, I'm a Poconoket Wampanoag. My ancestors greeted the colonists back in the 1620s. We come off the Massasoit, Usamican, yellow feather. My brother Lee, Braveheart, Kenefe Weta is his Algonquin name. Uh, he's an old vet from Korea. That's how he got his name and I got my name because I used to be a pretty good basketball player at East Province High School. Then Ron and Noonan. now. <laughs> Ron Noonan, the Hawk. And Emily has asked us to come up here and uh, say a little something about the powwow. The powwow is actually a meeting. Absolutely. And it's about vision, vision for the people. Absolutely. Did I get that right? You got it absolutely correct. So you meet at different destinations throughout the year. You can go online and find out where That's correct. That your there, powwows there is are. There's a powwow schedule. Mm -hmm. it comes out annually. It brings the uh, brings the people together. We become friends. We become friends. We socialize. Uh, we keep our culture going, and we do it for our younger generation, the young people. I have to tell you, you are really great dancers. You had me going. My toes were tapping out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Braveheart, he's 72 years old, so we're You're kidding. And I'm 71. So You're kidding. We're a couple of old bucks. Yeah, we're, old. Old. <laughs> we're a couple of old bucks, but we still able to get out there. side of the mountain. Yeah. You know, going the other going way. the other way, but <laughs> the, the creator has given us uh, decent genes, I guess, to keep us uh, able to go out there and dance to the hot beat of the drum. This is called... Well, this is regalia. Regalia. A lot of people call it costume. I was that, careful that, not to say that. That's somewhat of an insult. Now, this is regalia. And uh, my brother Lee Braveheart and I, we handmade these uh, using a deer skin. They have uh, elk on. And he has an elk hide that he made it out of, and it took a lot of time. Uh, it's uh, beautiful. You know, we, uh, we said a prayer to the Creator because we took this hide. This is a goose headdress in honor of my dad, who's called the goose. <laughs> and I have one eagle feather that was gifted to me by uh, Abnaki. He thought I should have an eagle feather, and I, I wear it with, uh, very proudly. Uh, we're honored that you uh, asked us to come here and uh, say a few words about the power. Smudging is a cleansing process uh, to get rid of negative energy. We bring the positive energy to the circle. Uh, so we don't want anything negative in there. Uh, we enter into the east gate, and we go clockwise. Some other tribes go counterclockwise, but that's their tradition and their culture. But it's a, it's a good way of coming together and meeting the people and sharing in our culture together. And there is a certain etiquette. Four of the opening songs are not to be photographed, I was told. That's correct. Any vets that are here are, are welcome. welcome into the circle and, and dance and we pay tribute to them for defending our country. Uh, the first three or four songs uh, that we do uh, is to uh, give respect to the Creator, Mother Earth, 
our veterans, no pictures are to be taken. Normally we ask the public to take off the caps or their hats uh, in, in respect uh, to, these, uh, to these songs. Uh, but that's the general process of starting off the powwow. We have the different colors, the flags. We have the American flag, the POW flag, the Canadian flag. The Eagle Staff. Eagle Staff. We do what they call intertribals, where everybody's invited into the circle and a dance. We're standing by some, what I know as teepees. Right, that's what they are. Yeah. They are. There yeah. is a difference between a teepee and a wigwam, you just told me. Yes, that's right. Usually the teepees are from the Plains Indians uh, okay. out west. Uh, they're usually, well, they were made out of buffalo hide back in the day, but a lot of them now are made of uh, canvas or uh, silk-type material. They're very efficient out They're very efficient, oh, yes. yes uh, they, they can be picked up and moved because most of your western tribes were nomadic. They followed the buffalo herds and, uh, you, know, in, you know, where they had to, to eat and whatnot. But uh, uh, the northeast woodlands, which we are, uh, we use we twos or wigwams. And, and we, we could use, transform too. We, we, they could be picked up and, and built and right on the spot. Move to different locations. And my brother Lee Brave, I could probably tell you how we made those uh, wigwams. Well, the wigwams, uh, they go anywhere, wherever they thought game was, or if they were hunting or fishing, and they wanted to camp, they would go out into the forest, the woods, and cut some trees down, some saplings, which bend very easily, and they would bend them over something like an ig igloo shape. And, uh, they would cover them with bark, some re or reeds, and uh, whatever they had at hand. They used everything from Turtle Island, which we call Mother Earth. And uh, that's how they did it. That's Just went we from survived. place to place. Yeah. Well, Emily, we thank you for this, uh, yes. this time you've given us. And hopefully uh, thank you. the general public has learned something about the Indians here, the indigenous people of this land. I'd like to leave you with a war cry from our, 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 our Anwan, who was our war chief back in the uh, 1600s. Uh, when he was fighting against the colonists, he was uh, heard to cry out in battle, Ayutaj, Ayutaj, stand and firm, firm and, and fight. fight. And that's what i like to leave you folks with, Ayutaj. Ayutaj. Aho. 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 I had a great time today, and I wanted to sum up this episode by showing you how to make these little hair pieces. I actually purchased this one at the powwow today, took it home, and decided that they'd be a fun little project for the show. All you need to purchase are some pieces of leather, shoelace would work, even a piece of twine. What I've done is also purchased some beads with holes in them, and that's probably the only thing that you have to watch out for, is to make sure that the holes will be able to go through the rawhide that you're using. And some feathers, of course, the hair clips, little ones if you can get them. I love this little hair clip. The beads matched and all you do at the end is slip some feathers right through the beads and voila. You have a wonderful little hair piece to wear to your next powwow or maybe a Christmas present for a friend. Hope you enjoyed the show. We part until we meet again. See you next time here in Emily's Garden. This episode of Emily's Garden is dedicated to the memory of Dr. James Solomon.